So, eukaryotes have uh, extra organelles, so that also contain the genome or the DNA, which we call it as organeller DNA. Examples are chloroplast DNA in plants and mitochondrial DNA in both plants and animals. So, um, basically, these are membrane bound organelles and they are uh, maybe present in hundreds to thousand copies. So, they are also in multiple copies of that, these, these genomes. And uh, mitochondria is the site for respiration, whereas the chloroplast is the site for photosynthesis. And uh, their DNAs, they can be labeled as mtDNA or cpDNA. Um, how do they, these organisms, they evolve? So there is an hypothesis called as endosymbiont hypothesis. So that is these um, um, organelles, they, they get incorporated into the cells and then those cells and these organisms, they developed a uh, good relation with each other. So they were helping either storing or um, obtaining energy uh, for for those cells and obviously the cells in, in return they were preparing some proteins, additional uh, proteins needed for their replication. So originally this hypothesis, endosymbiont hypothesis was proposed by Andreas Schimper and then uh, it was uh, extended by Lynn Margulis in 1980s. So it, according to this, mitochondria and chloroplast are derived from endosymbiont symbiotic bacteria. So that was get incorporated into the cells. Uh, organeller genomes are circular. Uh, they are double-stranded, supercoiled. There are no histones in them and there are in multiple copy number. Uh, here in this diagram, we see the size of these genomes. For example, we see plant genome is 150 kb circular genome. Uh, plant mitochondria is bigger than that, 150 to 2000 kbs. Human mitochondria is relatively simple. So that is 17 kb circular and then Saccharomyces mitochondria. So mostly those uh, genomes are circular ones. So as far as the expression of uh, these genes uh, which are present on these organelles are concerned, it has been observed that they are, their functions are um, actually, um, they are dependent on nuclear genomes for their functions. So uh, they cannot make the full functions for themselves. So uh, nuclear uh, genomes, they encode some important uh, products which are then transported through cytosol to these organelles. Uh, it has been observed that 10% of the nuclear genome is kind of helping the mitochondria and 15% 15 is uh, uh, helping chloroplast for its functions. So what we can conclude here is that organeller genomes are similar to the prokaryotes and uh, they are in high copy number and mitochondrial DNA and chloroplast DNA, they depend upon nuclear genome for their functions.